hello friends uh, welcome back to the second video of the video series on uh, design of steel structural elements in this video we'll just quickly go through the design strength of the bearing types of bolts now here the design strength of bearing type of bolt depends on uh, uh, three strengths that is the shear capacity of the bolt right the bearing capacity of the bolt and the tensile capacity of the blade bolt right so we'll first see the shear capacity of the bolt now in the shear capacity of the bolt uh, the design shear capacity of the bolt that is VDSB is given as VNSB that is nominal shear capacity of the bolt divided by gamma MB that is the partial safety factor for the bolt material now how to find out the nominal shear capacity of the bolt the nominal shear capacity of the bolt is uh, found as FU by root 3 NN ANB plus NS ASB now both of these formula you can just uh, see from IS 800 2007 you can just go to the bolted connections part and you can find out these uh, relations and all the terms have been explained clearly in that so uh, here also we'll just quickly go through uh, what is the definition of each and every term now the FU uh, represents the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material now before explaining that so let me just tell you how to find out the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material now if I say that I am going to use a bolt of grade say 4.6 now what does this 4.6 indicates now this 4 indicates the 100th okay the 100th of the ultimate tensile strength of bolt material that is whatever the material is made up of for the bolt that is the 100 tensile strength of the bolt material and this point 6 indicates that how to find out the yield strength of the bolt now uh, if here the 4.6 that is 4 indicates 100th of the tensile ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material I told so it means that the FU value for the grade 4.6 bolt is 400 Newton per mm square right now how to find uh, FY that is yield strength of that bolt material so that is given by the 0.6 so it is given as 0.6 times the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt material that is 0.6 times 400 so I think uh, we get 240 Newton per mm square so a bolt of grade 4.6 is having uh, ultimate tensile strength of 400 Newton per mm square and the same bolt is having a uh, yield strength of 240 Newton per mm square right now this FU indicates this 400 so if I use for grade 4.6 this FU should be substituted as 400 right now this NN indicates the number of shear planes intercepting the threaded portion this ANB indicates the cross sectional area at the threaded portion NS indicates the number of shear planes intercepting the shank portion ASB is the cross section area at the shank portion so I have told in my previous video that uh, A and B is uh, calculated as 0.8 times pi by 4 d square because we are finding the cross section area at the threaded portion and ASB in D is given as pi by 4 d square where d is the diameter of the bolt that is the nominal diameter of the bolt okay this gamma MB is the partial safety factor for the bolt material which is taken as 1.25 you can get all this partial safety factor table from the IS 2007 now how to find NN and NS uh, most of them get confused on how to find NN and NS so here I will just uh, briefly tell you how to find NN and NS now here I have shown an exaggerated view of a bolted connection that is uh, there is a plate here okay and there is also a plate here okay so this these two plates are connected by a bolted connection now when I apply an external load you can see that the shear plane is actually the interface between these two plates that is this area that is the thick green color what you can see now you can see that this green color area there is a shear plane that is the interface between these two plates is actually lying in the shank portion so for that case I have to take NN value as 0 NS value as 1 that is the shear plane it is intercepting the shank portion shank portion therefore NS is actually the number of shear planes intercepting the shank portion so how many number of shear planes are intercepting the shank portion here one so right correct so NN is 0 and NS is 1 and the reverse case of this is here 
the shear plane is actually intercepting the threaded portion and not the shank portion so here it should be like nn should be uh, 1 okay nn should be 1 and ns should be 0 that is the number of shear planes intercepting the threaded portion this is for the single shear problem now uh, what will happen for the double shear problem in case of double shear problems uh, there are three plates which are connected by this bolt uh, uh, so here you can see that there are two shear planes that is a, there are two interfaces between the plates so one interface is this one and the other interface is this one here also you can see that this shear plane is actually intercepting the shank and this shear plane is actually intercepting the threaded portion so both of the values should be one and one that is number of shear planes intercepting the uh, threaded portion that is one and the number of shear planes intercepting the shank portion that is also equal to one now uh, coming to the second case in the double shear here you can see that both the shear planes are actually intercepting the threaded portion that is uh, this shear plane is also in the threaded portion and this shear plane is also in the threaded portion so in that case nn should be 2 and ns should be 0 because there are no shear planes intercepting the threaded uh, shank portion now here the, that is the third case which is exactly reverse of this one both the shear planes are actually intercepting the shank portion so in this case nn should be 0 that is no shear plane is intercepting the threaded portion and ns should be 2 that is both the shear planes are intercepting the shank portion okay so uh, the knowledge of this that is how to find nn and ns when it is a single shear when and when it is a double shear is very very important once you find that the other things are direct substitutions now coming to the bearing capacity of the bolt so that is the design bearing capacity of the bolt that is vdpb is given as the nominal shear capacity of the bolt sorry nominal bearing capacity of the bolt divided by gamma mb where the nominal bearing capacity of the bolt is given as 2.5 times kb d t f u where kb is actually the minimum of e by 3d naught where e is the edge distance which is given as 1.5 times the nominal diameter of the bolt and d naught is the clearance hole diameter that is the nominal diameter of the bolt plus 2 we usually take it as 2 for our ease so uh, and the second that is p by 3d naught where p is the pitch which is given as 2.5 times the nominal diameter of the bolt and d naught is once again the clearance hole dia fub is the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt okay if it is a grade 4.6 fub will be 400 and fu is actually the ultimate tensile strength of the plate usually it will be 410 because we usually go for fe 410 grade plate and the last value that is 1 so out of these four values which is minimum whichever is minimum that we should take it as the value of kb so uh, once we find the kb value so d is actually the diameter of the bolt which we are going to we, we are using t is actually the thickness of the plate now finding t is a little bit trickier one uh, i will just keep it as it is uh, just flag this and uh, we'll, I will just explain you once I take up the numerical problem and this FU is once again the ultimate tensile strength of the plate and not that of the bolt you should be very careful while finding bearing and shear because the same term in same uh, uh, notation is given and the meanings are different in both the cases in the shear capacity of the bolt FU indicates the ultimate tensile strength of the bolt that is here this FU and when we come for the same uh, uh, section that is bearing capacity of the bolt if you comes out to be ultimate tensile strength of the plate and not that of the bolt you should be a little bit tricky uh, uh, careful with that and the uh, uh, one more important term which is associated with the uh, bolted connections is the efficiency of the joint which is uh, denoted by the term eta uh, uh, expressed in terms of percentage is equal to the strength of the joint divided by strength of the solid plate multiplied by 100 now how to find strength of joint it is actually minimum of design shear capacity of the bolt and design bearing capacity of the bolt so this we actually denote it by the term called bolt strength now once we find the bolt strength that should be multiplied by the number of bolts to get the strength of joint so how to find strength of solid plate which is uh, uh, denoted by the term tdg which is given as agfy divided by gamma m0 okay which is agfy divided by gamma m0 we usually take that m0 value as 1.1 a uh, fi is the ultimate and uh, sorry yield strength of the steel and ag is actually the cross section area of the plate that is width of the plate multiplied by the thickness so uh, we'll take up numerical problems in the next video so that it will just reinforce your knowledge on this uh, uh, how to use these equations and how to find the other values yeah we'll see you in the next videos where we will solve some numerical problems yeah thank you bye